Hey everybody, Sam Birch here with another World's Peacekeeper action figure review. Today we are reviewing the Marine MBC Specialist. Um, not a bad figure. Um, kind of um, happy with some of the uh, props he's getting. I'm not getting the usual binoculars, sunglasses, headset, and whatnot that I've gotten in within the last figures. So that's new. Um, I love the gas mask. That caught me off guard. I loved it. I was like, wow, that's so neat. You know, a little accessory. I can't wait to see how it looks on the figure. He has not been open yet. Um, but tons of accessories to look at, and I'll talk to talk about them. Just kind of giving a view on the box. Um, one person did hit me up and asked me, hey, Sam, is there any chance you can tell me how much I'm giving for these figures? Well, these action figures vary in price because most of the time I try to go for them when they're on sale or they're a little bit lower because most of the time a figure like this one can go anywhere from about 15 to 25 bucks but on an average I would say I've been spending about 20 bucks a figure but this guy cost me 25 which isn't bad um, I had to get him rush delivered but I'll explain that in another video whenever those action figures come in so let's take a look at the box um, it's your standard it's like the last one it's like the barrette the green barrette braid that I reviewed um, I was kind of laughing because I noticed like on the box let me uh, zoom up just a little bit for y'all to take a look at this I want you to look at this now this guy that I'm zooming up on is the figure that is supposed to be represented in the cart now real quick just take a look at him and know that this is the action figure that I'm reviewing okay now what I want you to do now is remember all the details because funny story when I first pulled this figure out and I was kind of looking on the back of the box because I really like to know which lineup am I getting from the top, the bottom or the top? And I could not find this guy for a second. The only thing that gave me a hint that this is the guy in the box is the black gloves, the helmet, and that's about it. And the rifle. Um, there was one key in detail that was missing from the back of the figure to the figure in the package. The goatee. Yeah, this action figure comes with uh, facial hair. And when I was kind of looking and scoping this character out, I noticed he had a goatee, but then on the back of the box, he did not have a goatee. So a little error, which I can't really say it's an error because my theory to why the character on the back is different from the one up front, my thing is, is I feel like it, those were the prototypes of a new design and they brought them in. And probably somewhere in the way, someone was just like, hey, I like this figure, but give him a goatee. You know, just something little. So that's probably why the um, figure on the back doesn't have a goatee, while the figure up front has a goatee. Who knows? I mean, they share many same qualities, haircuts, outfit, props. So my guesstimation is the ones on the back were actually the prototypes of what we got now. So... There you go, a little fun fact or some way of me explaining how a goatee makes such a big difference. <laughs> Cardboard box is still the same, I'm just sort of looking through and flipping it through. It's kind of all the same with these. I mean, the only difference in each setup is like if you're buying from a lineup like the Secret Agents, there's only two on the back and this one obviously has one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve figures on the back so this lineup comes with 12 um characters to this lineup and if you don't know what a lineup is it just means it's the um types that come out with this lineup it's just they're specifically made for this um if anything i'm thinking most of these are just mercenaries and soldiers to be honest this is really what i'm getting from i'm getting a very strong uh yeah, um, expendables. You know what I'm saying? Alrighty, so um, let's uh, crack this doll up and uh, see what he's like. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody. 
Time for the fun parts. The little bits, the props and whatnot. My favorite part. Um, gonna go through real quick. Here's a satchel that came with the figure. Um, not much, it's held with a little peg, a little clip-in area. That's about it. Um, here's another little satchel, same way. They're all kind of the same. They're just held, yeah, you just pop it over the belt loop. It kind of just hangs there. Would've been better if you could just, yeah. I think it would've been better if you could just loop the belt through. But then yeah, again, what kid's gonna have the time and patience to do that? <laughs> um, yeah, so there we go. They're not bad little details. A little bit of a gummy rubber like fill. I don't know if I showed that one off, but there you go. They all come in this like dark olive green color. Here's a flashlight. Like I said before, new props. I'm seeing a lot of different props. They're not bad either. Here's a flashlight, does not work. And didn't come with batteries. <laughs> but yeah, not bad, a little military, military style grade. All right, up next is the gas mask. Uh, it's made out of this plastic nylon material-ish stuff. And uh, basically what this does is you just put it over your character's head. There's a rubber elastic band right up there. Just, um, yeah, just throw it over there and the last band will hold it in place not bad the goggles are see-through so don't worry you'll see that in the photos when I have it on the character helmet your standard helmet not bad comes with a little chin strap right here would have been probably better just to have a piece of plastic represent that but I mean not bad details a little iffy on the edges right there that's a close-up it's a hard plastic with not bad details are good I like them um, probably could have went where, probably could have went where some details where this was kind of held on with like a little loop to look nice, but I mean, it's kind of just sewed on there. I mean, no complaints, not bad. These, so far these figures, at least details, detail wise and articulation and whatnot, these characters, all, so most of these, all four of them that I've reviewed so far, haven't really been bad. Most of the times it's just, um, there's a few minor complaints I could say I could complain about. And that's usually just the props. And we all know which one I do not care for the most, and that's the second CSI agent I reviewed. And I did not really care for his prop because look at this. There's his machine gun, yeah. You know, not bad setup. I mean, this is the type of scope I wish my CSI agent, came, CIA agent came with in the beginning. This would have been a lot better than that. VHS camcorder bulky piece of plastic. It also comes with a gun magazine and holster for that, or clip, mag clip, or whatever you want to call it. But the other clip in the gun doesn't come out because it's just like the CIA agent's rifle. It's really, honestly, just for looks. Um, you know what I like about it is in this one, this one has a little bit more detail on the strapping system while the CIA agents was just one one piece of elastic and it didn't even have the complimentary uh, little adjustable part on it so not bad I love the scope the scope kind of sits on two up front two on the side just slips it on it's a little bit hard but you know just be careful because you can break this it's made out of a sturdy plastic but i feel like it's one of those plastics if you like rip it off or if you don't properly slide it on and off like you should this thing will break and then it'll kind of make kind of render this prop useless and we don't want that but yet again i do put mine back in the box so i just like to open them up and review them Let's take a look at the figure. So here's our little main hero. He's not bad. He comes with the tog tags as well. Let me just pop them out. Come on. Yeah. Are they in the back? Sometimes they like, I don't know. Sometimes, I, ooh, sorry. I'm not trying to undress you, sir. I'm just trying to get to your neck. Ah, oh, thank you. So there's the dog tags. Um, do they say anything? I think they just say, um, yeah, they say World Peacekeeper on the dog tag. That's like really just it. 
nice. It's kind of neat because um, so far I'm two for two for getting uh, figures with dog tags, which is really honestly your standard G.I. Joe look. I like it. I, re I really like this one. This one's kind of my ideal of a G.I. Joe I'd get when I was a kid. Camouflage, boots, guns, that's all you need. Boots are nicely detailed. And here's something neat. Look at that. They actually give some like detail like weather, mud on the boots. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, wow, I'm just impressed, but not bad at all. He does come with a belt. And the belt fits good. It's just kind of like one of those ones you just pop in the middle, it comes off. And then um he his hands are gloves. So yeah, if you're looking at this, see what you're seeing is is um the gloves are molded like the hands are on most of these figures, but instead it's just the glove textured hand instead of the normal skin tone hand. And no, they do not come off and no, there was no spare hands to uh, put on here. So, sorry about that. <laughs> um, but other than that, details, the clothes are nice. The sewing job's a little iffy here and there on some of these, but I mean, it's not too bad. It's nothing you can't just, you know, take a pair of scissors and trim those unwanted uh, sewing errors like this, like this right here. That's what I'm saying. Not bad. I mean, it's not too bad. You don't see a lot of them just once in a while, so I'm not going to complain too much about that. The figure stands pretty solid, but... I don't know, he just feels a little bit lighter than my other guys. My other figures felt a little bit heavier. This guy feels a wee bit lighter. Might be just me, who knows. But he just feels a little bit lighter, just a little bit lightweight plastic. I'm not 100% sure. Alrighty, well I guess it's um time for the fun part. My thoughts and reviews all together on this figure. Thank you. So, what's my personal opinion about this figure? Um, nothing really bad to say on this one. You know, usually I can find some nitpicks that I could say that makes the figure bad, but I didn't really find anything. If anything I could say, the only trouble I had with this figure would definitely be the pouches. Now, when I showed in the video, it had that little hook thing, and you'd think, well, just slip it under the belt while the belt's on the figure, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, the best way to get the pouches to stay on and not fall off would definitely be um, take the belt off, put the pouches on in whatever order you want to. I didn't know what the correct order of pouches was, so I just kind of threw mine on randomly how I felt like they would look good. But um, I definitely, see, yeah, I definitely say just take the belt off, throw the pouches on, then put the belt on. It's a lot easier, it's not stressful, you don't have to sit there and constantly re-put another pouch on because you tried slipping one on and it fell off. I mean, that's my only complaint was that. Um, I mean, they stay on when you do the method I just told you, take the belt off. But, I mean, other than that, I can't really argue with a whole lot. Um, Detail-wise, the figure was well detailed. Um, excellent detail versions of himself you know he's a marine he's and that's really honestly why and i mean that's really honestly why i really can't complain much about this figure it's not bad at all i'd say it's worth the buy i mean normally the last couple of figures rated below five but this one i'd give five it's worth the buy the props work well um nothing bad to say about it at all i'm really surprised because um amazon suggested this to me on my fourth buy and i'm kind of wishing it was suggested this on my first buy but you know it doesn't matter because now we have the figure in my collection and i'm happy with it and i can't really complain about it so um i just want to say thank you all for watching please like comment subscribe have a nice day tell me what you think and please share this video every share helps every comment you put down below really helps